ghost bitch, I done told you last time, you don't pay bills in this house. You don't get to walk around here like you own the place. And we are back with Layers of Fear. I'm still trying to get to the part where I'm supposed to be afraid. That's not me, like, hating on whoever made the game. Like, it's a good game. I'm just not easy to scare. So far, the only thing that's happened is I got pissed off because I got a knife thrown at me and a painting and an entire room thrown at me. Okay. Everywhere. Why is it all backwards? Um, is there a way I can reverse this writing? I don't feel like trying to read backwards right now. Maybe if I drink, I can't drink. Sad. Wait, this is a mirror. Oh. That was cool. It cannot be undone. It cannot. It cannot be undone. Oh my gosh. But that's not what the room looks like, though. Okay. I don't like how the hallway's all hazy down there. No. No. Can we not... Can we, like, make a petition to not have animals and horror stuff anymore? Because they always die and it makes me sad. The painting is barking. said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. <laughs> Aww. The dog's name is Popco? But okay. I'm still very upset about the dog. Gotta close all these drawers. This house is already messy enough. We don't need to be leaving drawers and shit open. If you have OCD, don't play this game. Yet another door closing behind me. Don't you, don't you do it. Okay. Ever since I had that painting thrown at me, I don't trust them anymore. I wonder how many of these doors are locked. The answer is probably all of them. Okay. We're just gonna, can I just... Close this door. Oh! Okay, okay. And now it's locked. Shocker. I'm about tired of these rats. Oh, there's a melted wheelchair. We're gonna check out everything else first. It's the exact same thing. I heard a rat scurrying around in there. Not about it. Oh. Okay. The game really wants me to go in one of those rooms. Fine. See, you gotta stop throwing shit at me, game. What, what did I just say? See any goddamn thing? It's too dark. I have bad eyesight already. What about this shit? Locked, of course. Did that door just open? <sighs> really wish things would stop throwing shit at me. No, you can't come in. No. Occupied! 
Room is occupied. What do you want? I can't even open the door to let you in anyways. This is a lost cause for you. See, now you're just annoying. Okay. Can I open the door now? Oh. Um, okay. Well, we're not gonna go that way. I have to keep to this room now. Unleash your inner beauty with the new Glamour Fusion Max. <sighs> I don't think I really need that, but okay. Hello? Something horrible is going to happen in here. Ooh, more whispering. This one. This one. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Because this totally isn't a bad idea. Um, hello? Dumpling all around, dumpling all around, dumpling all around. It's so funny. Dumpling here and there, dumpling everywhere, and I must declare. I stepped right on her toes, and when she bumped my nose, <laughs> Prosthesis snatchers. I felt a shame. Dumpling all around, dumpling all around, dumpling all Hey. I was listening to that. Dumpling all around, dumpling all around, dumpling all around. <sighs> Whatever. No music for me. I don't know what that switch did. Oh. Oh. Um, is the bed melt? Oh my gosh. Everything's just melting. That's cool. Well, I guess I'm not going through that door. That. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Because you're insane? I'm just saying. I don't like this room anymore. It's all melty. How am I even supposed to get through this door? Hoping some kind of Narnia shit would happen. Let's see if I can reverse the effects. A key? Okay. That was cool. Oh, hey, it's the room again. Picked up another photo. It is. I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night. Now, there you are. Locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. Road. Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. Mm-hmm. So you say. But I don't believe you. Yeah, we're making it prettier with blood now, I guess. What is it now? I don't understand. 
Auto saving, so can't move. Now can move. Now there's a piece of paper on the ground. Oh, yeah. Hate even now, lost alone. You deserve it. A grave for you. Finish it. Still absolutely no idea what's going on with the painting, but... Wow, I guess we're not allowed in that door. Really? Every time. You gonna throw that one at me next? Whatever. I'm gonna try and go in this door. Some scary shit's probably gonna happen. Fine. Go through this door. There's that damn piano. Now it has chains on it. <laughs> you really gonna block my door? Oh, there's another door. About a boy who wakes up in a cave, he finds a mysterious note in a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, fields, rivers. Eventually he winds up at a small cabin where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory. He killed a guy who had murdered his father. In the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Caldwell. Still kind of rude of the piano to knock that painting down. What? Oh. Let there be light? Question mark? Ghost bitch, I done told you last time. You don't pay bills in this house. You don't get to walk around here like you own the place. Yeah, see, I don't like that. That looks like an X. X marks the spot. I'm probably going to die right there. Or fall through the floor or some shit. Okay. Creator's block. I'm gonna turn around. And Ghost Bitch is gonna be there. What? Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fall through that. I already know I am. Oh, I didn't. See, it looks like there's a person sleeping in this bed. Shocker. June, don't forget. The 9th of June. Okay. Stop doing locked things. That's one way to open a door, I guess. Can I kick this one down too? No. Click. Note. September 15th. More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is, I agree with every word. But okay. What are we agreeing with? Ghost bitch, I swear to god. Ghost bitch ain't even there. You know what, we're just gonna call ghost bitch Esther. Sure, at some point it already said, like, the wife's name, because I'm assuming ghost bitch is the wife. But, I don't remember. So her name is Esther. Uh, of course it's locked. Oh wait, this wasn't here before, was it? You would have thought with all those books. Oh, I can go up the ladder. 
for absolutely no reason, apparently. Why is it making that noise? Stop ringing! You are not a phone, you are a painting! Satan? Is that you? Satan, stop calling me through paintings. I can't answer paintings. There's the phone. Really? Oh my god. Am I really just walking in circles right now? Restless memories. I'm going in there, ghost bitch. Don't be like that, Esther. And everything's upside down. Watch me fall to the root, like, fall to the ceiling. Something thoughts. But what kind of thoughts? It says something thoughts. I might, I think it might say, like, tortured or something. But okay. Apparently there is something in this room that I am just not doing. Flapping horror. Why? <laughs> flapping horror, be quiet. Constantly flapping. Eating other rats? Question mark. It was a bat, but it was also a rat. But okay. Still wish I could see. And that door is locked now. Oh, I'm so dumb. What? Whatever. Anything in the shore I can pick up and look at? No. I have just got alcohol everywhere in this house. Oh hey, it's Paul! Paul, did you do this? God damn it. Hey, stop pushing me back, that's not nice. Rude. Paul, I knew it was you. Hope they don't throw Paul at me. That will hurt. He has antlers. Oh, it's the elevator. I mean elevator. No, I was right the first time. I still want to know how I have an elevator in my house. I mean, obviously I'm a shit painter. Close the... Close the damn gate. Let's see... I didn't say that way. It's turning by itself. Not sure if that was up or down, but I guess we're gonna find out, huh? Oh, it was down. Of course we're going down. Abandon hope while you can. You don't tell me what to abandon in my own house. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning. A momentary lapse of reason. An overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts. No more rambling. Better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your duh. Oh, and the rest is torn off. Okay. I think I need to start going to AA. Oh look, another ruined hallway. Why is my house rotting? This door got fucked up. Let's open it. Fucking rats! Random ladder is random. 
What is that? Stop it, rats! I'm gonna leave that running. Just because. I think it might be cold outside. I don't want the pipes to freeze. Well, apparently I'm going through this door. Oh, into the bathroom where nothing creepy ever happens. Is that blood in the bathtub? I bet I'll walk over to that bathtub and something's gonna be all like grrr out of the bathtub and the door just shut. Something just got out of the bathtub water. I do not want to turn around, but I know I have to. Isn't there a mirror I could just see in the mirror without having to look directly at it? Like a basilisk. Did the lights just turn off in here? Esther, that you? It's that fucking doll. Silent floaters, they clog the drains. Fur in the water, no bads for me. And the doll sank. Awesome. Oh, I didn't even have to go in there? Yo, Esther, this shit's getting old. What did that even do? Uh, of course you're locked. Like every other fucking thing in this goddamn house. Everything is always locked. What is this? Why was that dead bolted from the outside? Key. Maybe it opens that door back there. But I might want to go this way first. Open that door. Fucking doll. From love to madness, man apprehended after kidnapping his own daughter. Earlier today, a typically quiet and peaceful neighborhood witnessed a scene straight out of a crime drama as social services accompanied by armed police officers descended upon the residence of a, fi a once famous painter and a, and a recent widower. Apparently, the man had broken into a children's care center downtown and absconded with one of the young patients. Our sources claim that the girl was in fact the culprit's daughter who had previously been removed from his care after a family court ruling. After unsuccessful attempts at negotiation, fearing that the man might harm the child, police officers stormed the building and apprehended the suspect. I witnessed this claim that as the paramedics escorted the girl out of the house, the man, still in handcuffs, fell to his knees and repeatedly exclaimed, Please, she's all I have left. A truly tragic turn. And then it's over. Fuck you, doll. Every time you show up, bad shit happens. I don't like you. Can I, like, throw you away? Body borrowers? Feeding on me, driving me insane. Too fast to cut out. Oh, hey, look, we're back where we started, but now there's four doors. Like in a labyrinth, always go right. Except there's a brick wall. So, I guess we can't go right. Labyrinth logic doesn't apply to brick walls, apparently. And another brick wall. I don't like the doors that open inward. And another brick wall! The fuck? Oh! Okay. Ugh. Whee! That was fun. That goes downward. Downward is not fun. Especially because it takes so long to walk down the stairs because of this prosthesis. And I can't see a goddamn thing, so there's that. Ugh, the basement again. Oh, hey, it's the piano. Oh, this is pretty. Something bad's gonna happen. Something horrible is gonna happen. It's probably gonna throw everything at me again. If that chair falls at me, I'm gonna die.
Dangling dread, patient, thirsty, furry leeches, afraid to look up. Ah! I can't see anything. Do I have like a flashlight? I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Okay. So that's the thing that I did, apparently. Oh, hey, look, I can see shit again. Not much. But still some. Yo, Esther, where's the way out? Pop up wherever it is. Like you normally do. Ugh, stairs. Yay! I really need to clean up around here. Is that a fish? I don't know, this is some like abstract shit that I am not down for. New words? What if you fail? I don't know, what if I fail? So I only have three more things to find. I found the flesh, the blood paint, and the bone paint. 